Oak presents Mathematical Literacy Tariff Systems Telephones What is a tariff? A tariff is a fixed amount that you will have to pay for a certain product or service depending on your consumption of that product. Now that is a mouthful. It just means that you have to pay a certain amount that is should be determined beforehand for a product or a service. A product is something that you can buy, that you can hold, and a service is something that makes your life easier. For instance, telephone is a service. To be able to phone is a service and the product is the telephone. Depending on your consumption of that product, how much you use of that product. That is what consumption means. The market of cell phones is very competitive. We currently have five different cell phone companies providing services in South Africa and each company offers a variety of contract and prepaid options. <coughs> it is wise to consider all the options at hand before choosing. Cell phone companies are not trying to trick you. All information needed to make an informed decision is available, but you have to do some research. A contract is often much cheaper than prepaid. A cell phone is often included in a contract deal, so, so that is the advantages. But remember that the cell phone you receive is not free. Cell phone companies are businesses and all businesses have to be profit profitable. You are paying for that cell phone, so it is not free. When you choose a contract, you have to pay the contract for 24 months regardless of your financial situation. So if you had an income when you got the contract, or well you have to have an income to be, to be able to get a contract, and you lose your job and therefore you don't have an income anymore, you still have to pay your monthly cell phone fee, uh, yes, whether you have an income or not. Calculative Carina should rather take out a contract or stay on prepaid. Carina sends 30 SMSs, SMS messages per month during peak time. She sends 30 SMS messages per month during off-peak time. She speaks on the phone for 15 minutes every month during peak time. And she speaks on the phone for 25 minutes every month during off-peak time. Now, remember that cell phone calls are d often differentiated between network-to-network -network calls and calls to other networks or landwards. But for this example purposes, we are going to ignore that. So we're just going to assume all uh, there's only one way to phone and there's uh, yeah, only one way to send an SMS. Okay, so <coughs> the on the same network, these are options. A fixed monthly, monthly cost, nothing for prepaid and contracted cost money. Um, the amount of t um, minutes she gets free, she doesn't get any free minutes of prepaid, but she gets 100 of peak minutes. Peak time calls per minute is 150 and prepaid, 180 for contract. Of peak calls per minute is 150 prepaid, uh, 90 cents per minute of uh, on contract. SMS is 50 cents for prepaid, 80 cents for contract, and off peak SMS is 50 for prepaid, 36 cents contract. Okay, so this these are a prepaid calculations. Um, 15 minutes peak call, 1 rand 50 is 22 rand 50. Um, the off peak calls is 25 minutes and that's 37 rand 50. Peak SMSs is 30 of them, 15 rand, and 30 off peak SMSs is 30 rand. And these are a peak, uh, uh, blah, 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 if she would choose prepaid. The fixed amount, <coughs> sorry, is 150 rand 49. Peak calls amounts to 27 rand. Off peak calls, 22 rand 50 cents. <coughs> 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 
sorry. <coughs> peak SMSs is 24 Rand. Off peak SMSs is 10 Rand 80. So in total, it cost a 2 Rand 12 cents and 29 cents. 212 Rand 29 cents. Okay, let's go back. <coughs> Okay, this is a, a contract and this is prepaid. Do you see that it cost a 90 rand to be on prepaid but 212 rand 29. So for Karina, it would actually be much better to be on prepaid than be on contract. <coughs> right. Calculate if Steve should rather take out a contract or stay on prepaid. He sends 10 messages per month during peak time, 50 during off peak time. He speaks on the phone 15 minutes during peak time and 120 minutes of peak time. And again, I say the costs are dif differentiated between network to network calls and calls to other networks or land wells, but we're going to ignore that. Okay, so this is. Um, Stevens options uh, contract and prepaid gets the same as for Karina now for prepaid 15 uh, minutes cost 22 rand 50 off off peak um, 120 minutes is 180 rand peak SMSs is is 10 of them of big SMSs is, is 50 of them. So it is 2, 3, 2 rand and 50 cents. Now for contract, this is his fixed cost. This is his <coughs> peak calls is 27 and 50. His off peak calls is 108 rand. Um, peak SMSs is 8 rand. Off peak SMS is 18 rand. Now he gets 100 rand off his cost for uh, bec because he had uh, 100 rand worth of uh, of peak calls during a month. So do you see that um, his total is 211 rand 99 cents, and on prepaid it's 232 rand 50 cents. So for for Stephen it would be much better to to be on a contract. Okay, we we have two landline providers in South Africa. We, we're going to call them A and B. Let's quickly compare the costs. If you th these are uh, were published on a web website, uh, it's not necessarily the same anymore. Um, if you phone from local calls from A, you will pay one rand seventy for the first five minutes to the other uh, uh, landline but to the same landline it's 85 cents to a cell phone it's 8 rand 80 off peak you will pay 1 rand 5 cents to this landline but 85 cents to this uh, this landline and to a cell phone it is 5 rand 45 um, for B it is 2 rand 79 but to phone to this uh, to this uh, uh, landline, you will have to pay three rand eighty nine, nine rand forty five for to a cell phone, one rand fifty nine to phone to this um, uh, landline service provider, to phone to that service provider, you pay three rand eighty nine, to a cell phone is five rand eighty five. It is really quite easy to decide which of these two landline options you're going to choose because this one I do not know where, which of the two providers it is is clearly cheaper than that one now what you can consider when you have to choose a landline in South Africa is uh, do they give you the the same coverage uh, do you always have reception do is the, are there always lines available or they land lines often quite uh, off quite often but cost wise this one is much better than that one
Thank you.